Hey guys, what's up? I'm just gonna show you some perks to having stubbies and utilizing stubbies. Um, these are a very versatile tool to use anywhere at any point in time throughout the day. I use mine a lot at my house and in the gym. Um, very good for exercising and good for um, building up endurance in your legs um, initially after being amputated and then fit with prosthetics. Um, there's a lot of exercises you can do with them at your house. Um, you can go from sitting to standing like this and you just pop up. You can use something around you or you can use your hands like this, you know, and help yourself uh, stand up like that. Um, whenever you start to get a little stronger, you can uh, practice on going from sitting to standing um, without using any hands. It's really hard to do, so I'm gonna try and do this. And then you just kind of pop up. I haven't done that for a while. Um, so, also, um, this is a very heavy chair. Um, I tried moving it earlier. So the other perk to these is that you can move things a lot easier than if you had full length legs on. So let me find a good way to pick this thing up. So if you're moving furniture across the room or whatnot, you can pick it up, sit it down, move it however you need to. If you don't like where it's at, you just pick it up, move it back. Be sure not to put a hole in the drywall. So those are some good topics about stubbies. Another good topic is, you know, just being up and mobile. And they might make you short, but they're still a functional uh, prosthetic to use, especially in the beginning whenever you're building up strength. Um, it might take longer to get to where you're going, but you're still going to get there in a decent amount of time. And this is where building up the endurance comes into play. Also, whenever you start to get more comfortable with the stubbies, you can then add pylon length or have your technician or prosthetist add pylon length to the stubbies. And doing that, you get a little bit taller and you're able to experience things from a different perspective. You're starting to get a little taller. You put ankle weights on there. Um, you'll also do that and you'll still have to traverse all this uneven terrain, grass, sidewalks, curbs. And these are really good for teaching you how to go down hills initially. This is a you know pretty steep decline and what you do is it, it just teaches you to lean back and kind of stay in sort of an equilibrium and balance and just kind of walk down the hill and whenever you build up enough strength and endurance and are comfortable enough with being on a higher set of stubbies, you can get some microprocessor knees and this is the basic movement for any hill or stairs or anything. And also good for building muscle as you can see. I'm, even though I'm not wearing the full length legs, I'm still leaning forward to pull myself up the hill because it is pretty steep. So all the way down, all the way back up. Um, stepping off of curbs, this is also something you, everybody knows you're gonna experience in, in everyday life. There's different ways, a couple different ways you can go off the curb. You can step off like that. You can kind of come at it backwards like that. 
you can step off sideways like that or if you're just in a hurry you step off of it like that um, so this is kind of goes in line with stairs because it is a step up <clears throat> and what this is going to teach you to do is to lean forward into the prosthesis and put all your weight into that and really pull back with that one leg that you've got up on the step and whenever you do that you're building all those muscles and your hamstrings and your glutes and even your core that are beneficial to help pull yourself up onto the step and if you got steps at your house or wherever you're at it's always good to practice because that's just helping build a better foundation for whenever you get your full length prosthetics and you just kind of do it over and over again kind of like a little exercise so all of this goes really well and plays a vital part um, into the process of getting your prosthetics, um, building up the confidence to walk out in everyday life, and build up basic strength for um, wearing full length prosthesis. And this is something that most, if not all, full-time prosthetic users started out on. So there are steps to take to get you to where everybody else is and this is where you need to start and it's only up from here over and out